it's Laura Rose and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we are going to be doing an unhaul video. This is my boyfriend. You have to say your name. Oh, I'm sorry, name? Yeah, say hi, I'm Zach. Hi, I'm Zach. We just went through our bookshelves and now we're going to do an unhaul. I have about 42 books, so we're going to do it in like groups unless something sticks out that you really fucking hate and you want to talk about. And I have less books, which means I hold on to less junk. Maybe it means you read less, so you're stupider. <laughs> Uh, I guess I'll go first. You're getting rid of Harry Potter? That's what I expected the reaction to be from everyone on my channel. Even though I'm getting rid of all this Game of Thrones and these Harry Potter books, I have a full hardcover set of Harry Potter books on my shelf right now that doesn't include these. I literally could not fix my jaw for like 30 seconds. Your entire family has a full set of Harry Potter books because they told me so that they could read them all together at the same time. Did anyone else have their parents buy five sets of each Harry Potter book because that was my family. My mom got me this book. Did I read it? Nope. So these are books that are on my shelf that I haven't read that I have no fucking intention to reading. How do you not stare at yourself? Practice. I was a political science major. College books! What do I do with that degree? Not much. This is a stack of various self-help books. Dave Ramsey. Look at that bald head. These I don't really need. I love this book, but I don't feel like I need it anymore. I feel like someone else might love it even more. Why are we not millionaires? I never read that one. This one. It's a very colorful, wonderful book <laughs> that my ex-fiance left in my house. George Bush. That's how you know she should always be your ex. You know he didn't write this book, right? Because he can't even speak two words, let alone write a whole fucking book. <laughs> like, guys, you can't put that many words in a row for George. You can't read those. This is an ACS style guide. We get it. I went to college. Throw it away. More college. That's boring. These are more college books. Wait. We get it. You went to college. Shh. I don't want to edit this out, so stop talking. I used to live in New York City, and these apparently are about New York City, and someone gave this to me, I think. Here we go. Patrick Lee, Ghost Country, and Blasphemy, a novel by Douglas Preston. Never seen them before in my life. They've been on my shelf for five years. She literally was like, oh, do you want these? I was like, are those mine? So here I got some poetry books back when I thought I would be cool and read poetry every night before bed. Ha ha ha! That didn't happen. This is like a yoga book and this is a dream book. And I read this one and I just use the internet for this. Like who uses books anymore? <laughs> this one's called Rhonda and the Serenia. 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 I got this at a garage sale for a dollar. No, I put it on Amazon four years ago and decided to sell it. Oslo got this at a garage sale for a dollar. I put it on Amazon four years ago and decided to sell it. How's that going for you, sweetie? This one's called Bottom lines, healing remedies. Got it at a garage sale for a dollar. Put it on Amazon four years ago. I'm trying to sell it. I have a successful business where I sell books online. So these are just like funny books. Letters from a nut, like a comic book. Mom, I think this is yours. If you want it, leave a comment and I won't give it to Goodwill. Sorry. I went to London. You sound like you're from London. I used this as a map when I was drunk and I got lost. Makeup. Clearly I don't need these since I'm already so fucking beautiful. I made a terrible mistake. I read The Hunger Games. Actually, no, I really enjoyed the first one and the second one. And then the third one kind of fell apart. <laughs> Which... Zach does not watch BookTube, yeah. but that was the most appropriate reaction to this series that you could have. Literally, that's what every BookTuber says. Pretty much a natural uh, These are like my big coffee table-y books. This one's called Be Amazing. This one is Earth by... That guy? This is another one that I stole from my parents. It's like a bunch of cool photos. Is this what happens? Your kids leave the house and take all your books with them and then throw them away? Yep. <laughs> They're trying to declutter. I'm just helping. You're welcome. I actually just bought this book at the library for like a dollar, but I realized when I was decluttering it that I don't care as much as I did when I bought it. It's just like a little tiny book on film. IMDB killed this book. The internet slayed this book too. What? You mean you don't want to keep your dictionary? This was America's leading reference brand. Now you have a nice paperweight. Additional MBE practice exam. I took that two years ago. I think it's still relevant. Alternative dispute resolution. What if we have a dispute? We never fight. Fuck you! Differentiated instructional strategies in practice. I have no idea what that means. Understanding social welfare. A search for social justice. Also not my book. This is the Longman writer. Best thing about this book was I never had to open it. Wills, trusts, and estates. You're literally putting my viewers to sleep with how boring your books are. <laughs> when you're dying, don't come to me. Why would they go to you, a lawyer, when they're dying? Wills, trusts, and estates. Oh! 
I read this when I was a kid. I do remember liking it, but I don't remember what it's about. And I just don't feel like reading it again. My guess is it's either about pens, pens or dragons. <laughs> this is The Dragon King Saga by Stephen Lawhead. It's three books in one, and I remember that it was like a three or four star for me. I read the whole thing, and I pretty much enjoyed it, but I don't remember it enough to keep it, so I'm going to send it on its merry way. Choo Choo reads books. She reads books. Angels and Demons, Dan Brown. Don't eat it. Tagarung by Brian Jacques. These books are actually awesome. Is this the one with the mice warriors? Yes! How'd you get rid of this? If I want to read it, I'm going to start with Redwall. For any of you who watch my channel, you will not be surprised by this. Bye, Felicia. <gasps> All right, that was our unhaul video. I think we unhauled all together like 60 books, which is pretty good. Proud of us. Thanks for watching. Make sure you guys comment. Let me know if you were surprised what I unhauled or if you've read any of these books or if you would unhaul them yourself. Make sure you subscribe for more fun videos. Let me know if you like having Zach in the videos. And if you don't, let me know as well. <laughs> we're really glad that you came by today. And as always... Wait, wait, wait. I got this. I got this. Have a glittery day.